Hey everyone, tell us going to do your dynamic see what happens if you put a foreign disc into a portable DVD player that looks like a Game Boy Advance SP. Alright, if any of you remember my older video, or like any of my older videos, I did this before, but not like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Just to uh, show you that it works, I have Batman and Harley Quinn for DVD. This isn't mine, this is from a library. And we're gonna use the remote in case if there's like any ads or if there's something cool on here. So, uh, anyway, there you go, it works. And I can, uh, skip, uh, like chapters. So, anyway, that's cool. So, I have this pretty weird DVD that I found in a dumpster, and we're gonna see if it works on this portable DVD player. So apparently it does, and, er, and skip a bit of this, if I can. This is basically Rise of the Guardians, but a terrible DVD version, and in a different language, too. So, uh, yep, I'm gonna forget I had that. And next up, we have Iron Man. Let me just remove the case. This is actually Iron Man 2. I got this at Target. We're going to see if this works. This is only the Blu ray. I don't have the DVD as well. So we're going to put that in there. Pop it in. And it quickly says that it's not a DVD. Let's move on. So I have Sting in the Police Music City. Alright. And it works. I'm not going to play any of the soundtrack because it's probably copyright. And next up we have Party Time Karaoke. From a karaoke uh, CD player. It's a CDG. So, as you can see, that works. Next up, I have Sonic Heroes for GameCube. Hopefully, it doesn't damage the disc. And surprisingly, it is reading. But will the game play is the question. Nope, I can already see that question mark, which means it doesn't work. But surprisingly, it spins. Next up, I have uh, Animal Crossing City Folk. Okay, that one is also spinning for some strange reason. But does it play? Nope, question mark again. Put that in there. And next up we have a Wii U game, Star Fox Guard. And quickly doesn't read it, just like the Blu-ray. I have Halo Comet Evolved on the original Xbox. See if it works. Will be cool to play this. Oh, and we get this little animation. Xbox. Wow, it'll be cool if it actually played. This is an Xbox game disc. Please put in your Xbox. Start playing. Oh well. That was fun while it lasted. And next we have NBA 2K13 on the 360. Let's see if we can play some 360 games. Oh, and it has a question mark. 
Interesting. I thought we'll play an animation. Oh well. <laughs> this actually doesn't really look like a 360 game. Weird. But it plays. So I had the Simpsons game for the PlayStation 2. It does say DVD on it, so it should read it. Maybe it'll play an animation, maybe a, maybe some unreleased commercial, we'll see. It's reading. It's reading. It's reading, come on, it's a DVD. Oh, and we got the question mark already. So nope, they don't work. Next up, we have Monster Madness Grave Danger on the PS3. Oh, and it quickly doesn't read it because it's a Blu-ray, duh. Next up, we have Need for Speed 2 for our PC. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's taking a while. It's focusing. It's focusing. Okay, I'm gonna take it out because I don't wanna scratch the disc. Um Next up I have a ninth house um C D ROM. For the last one it was just a glitch. This thing is acting crazy on me. So some weird reason. This one I don't care if this is scratched or not. Oh, what? What the heck? These are pictures. It's like, come on. That is so weird. I somehow have pictures on a CD-ROM. Okay, that is, that is very interesting. Right, next up, we have Tetris Blast on the Game Boy. Let's see if it. Okay, so I guess Game Boy won't fit. We have Pac-Man Collection on the Game Boy Advance. Okay, so I guess Game Boy Advance doesn't work. We have Super Mario Brothers on the DS. Huh. Okay, so this time it works. Let's see if it... Uh, insert disc. Of course it... Of course it is a cartridge, so... Yeah, moving on. Um, we have Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Let's see if it works. Of course, it's also a cartridge. Next up I have a cassette tape. Super oldies of the 60s see if it works. I'm going to be careful because this thing is really sensitive. Alright. So, uh, yep, it doesn't work. Slide that out. Any car racing, papyrus, floppy disk. We'll see if it works. And it, something's blocking it. What is it, though? Oh, it's this. Next up, we have um, a Sega Game Gear game, Sonic 2. Alright, I'm not gonna do any more to this, because I, I love Sonic and I like this. Next up, I have uh, NBA Live 96 for the Sega Genesis. It's, I believe you just... Or not. This is about Batman for VHS, so let's try to get that out of there. I don't want to damage this. I have an FBI meme, so be careful with that. And so, yeah, they don't fit. And finally, this is, I found this. I remember doing, I used to do this until now. It's a bit scratch, but we'll see if it works. Just put that tiny little CD in there. Oh, just like the GameCube disc, it was spinning.
but does it work? Okay, so it's taken forever, so yeah, these uh, tiny little CDs don't work. So, uh, yep, that's it for this uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.